Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. I have an issue with my new Gold Shell LT Lite, which I just received recently. I already did an unboxing of it, and in that unboxing, when I did that video, it did have something inside that sounded like something broke. And the packaging did have like a massive like crunch at the corner of the box. So I'm guessing this thing got really like crushed or thrown around or something. And yeah, I, I believe something is definitely broken inside this new Gold Shell LT light that I just received. So this thing is supposed to do 1,620 mega hash on the script algo. And right now, it is doing half of that. As you can see here, it says CPB0 failed to start up. And yeah, I have been running this new Gold Shell for the past uh, let's see, two days and 11 hours and 19 minutes as of recording this video. So it's it's not working fully as it should and I've tried like turning it off and I, I haven't taken it apart. So actually this video I am going to just take it apart and we're going to see if I can just, we can just visually see if there's anything wrong inside. But in that video I did pick it up and I shook it around and there's just, there is something inside that... Uh, that is moving around so I'm guessing maybe something broke maybe one of the uh, heat sinks came off I don't know if that would make it not work but all the fans are working on this new gold shell LT light so yeah this is the first I guess ASIC miner that I've had that I have had an issue due to I'm gonna say because of shipping uh, like I said, the box was extremely damaged. So guys, I'm gonna let this cool down. I just turned it off and then I'm gonna just take off all the screws and go through what we can see. So I'm gonna give it a bit. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, all right, this is actually my first time taking apart an ASIC miner. I've never unbolted the fans ever on an ASIC miner. So this is gonna be my first time. Okay, this first fan is is out well that was that was actually pretty easy and oh looks like this fan power cable goes up into the top here which i'm assuming is the control board area okay the second fan is off now all right you know what we're gonna we're gonna see if we can take off the top here and so it looks like we got some tape here so that that doesn't matter. We're just gonna. We're just gonna go like. I don't care about the warranty. I haven't contacted Gold Shell. I have not contacted Crypto Miner Bros. You know, I, I just want to see if I can fix this myself. I'm, you know, I'm sure. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna take out these back. I'm sure once I contact them, or maybe if they see this video, uh, they'll just say, "Hey, Red Panda, you know, we'll we'll uh, just ship this back to us. We'll get you a replacement or something." Or Maybe uh, maybe they can ship me a new uh, one of those boards, uh, one of the half of the boards, because it seemed like half of this ASIC miner was working. So if um, Gold Shell or Crypto Miner Bros are willing to do that, then I'm I'm totally down. If not, then I, you know, I I'm not hard pressed because this is obviously a unit. This is a this is a review unit that they sent me. So it, <laughs> either way, it, it doesn't matter. But uh, it would be nice actually to have this oh look at that would be nice to have this work okay let me just take off this last fan now I want to if I want to access these looks like oh there's okay you know what I want to take off this I believe there's this middle screw right here to take out the uh, the control board so let me let me take this out oh yeah there we go oh that was easy Nice. Okay. There. And all right. Uh, let's just let's see if I can. Uh, let me take off the. Do I need? Do I even need to take out the fans? Oh, you know what? They're all zip tied in. There. You guys can see that. Look at that. Except for the front two. Okay. There's these. These front two. Ah, uh, this is zip tied in as well, for those two fans. And uh, there's another two for these back too, but they're they're zip tied here. I'm not even gonna touch those. I don't think we need to take out the fans. Uh, I mean, we took off the fans in the front to I guess slide out these uh, control boards. So now it looks like we need to 
unscrew these four bolts here and here. I think we can also do that on the front side. There is power going into the two, yeah, there's two ASIC boards. All right, so let's just do that. All right, and there's another clip here. All right, okay, so that's out now. Let's go ahead, uh, so let's see, let me just see. Can I, I can take off this back one. Can I take off the front side? So one thing I'm curious about, will these slide out the front way or will these slide out the rear? I'm gonna go with sliding out back this way and it looks like I do have to unscrew, see these bus bars for the power is going into, it's just, it's bolted into the ASIC boards here. Okay, so let's do that as well. But let me just take off this panel. I got thermal paste on my fingers. Ah. Okay, this one's out. Okay, now uh, I can't just slide it out yet because I gotta unbolt these ones at the top. I'm just gonna take both out because I don't know which one is one or which one is two according to the web GUI showing the one that failed. So I'm not quite sure which, which side that is. Okay, so I took out the four bolts into the bus bars. Now, can I just simply slide this out? Oh yeah. Oh, nice, look at that. There we go. Okay. You know what, I'm just gonna take both out. Oh, that wasn't, that was not difficult at all. That was actually pretty, that was actually pretty easy. Oh, this one. This one. Okay, you guys didn't see that. You guys did not see that. All right, this thing, <laughs> the power supply fell over. All right, that's okay. That's okay, we're okay, we're okay. Everything is fine. This side of the board is e extremely hot. This is actually still warm, so I bet this was the one that was working. So I'm not gonna touch this. It was this one, this other one that doesn't feel warm at all. So I, you know what, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I'm just visually inspecting it. <laughs> that was really funny, I can't believe that thing fell over. Okay, uh, let's see here. I don't see any, I'm getting a lot of, I have a lot of thermal paste and stuff on, on my, uh, on my hand already. All right, yeah, I don't, I don't see, I don't know what I can do. I don't know what the heck I can do to troubleshoot this board being bad. I. I I don't, I am not gonna unscrew each of these heat sinks, but nothing looks to be dead or burnt on this thing. So, all right, well, I don't even know why I took everything apart. I guess we just wanted to see something visually wrong. And you know what, let's just go ahead and put everything back. And one thing I just realized is that we probably did not need to take out the front fans. We just need to take out the back. So I'm gonna t I'm gonna put in the board that was working. Okay, I'm just gonna slide this back in, and that looks to be good. And I put it in the wrong one. Yeah, there's actually two slots. There's two slots here. I have to put it on the far left one, and then slide it in so that it matches up with the. Uh, it matches up with the bus bars. For the heck of it, I'm gonna put the other one back in as well. Okay, all right, the other one's back in. Now I can just simply put these back, you know what? I realized at the top here, there are two other, two other power plugs. I wonder if I can use these. If this one was the issue, if this board was the issue, I wonder if I can just swap the power and see if it works. But you know what, just taking it out, unplugging it, I don't know if that's gonna do it. Let me just try that first. If not, we're going to uh, switch the power plug and then turn it back on. Okay, so guys, let me just, uh, I'm gonna do everything real fast here and then we're gonna turn it on 
I'm not gonna put in the fans. Actually, I'm gonna put in the front fans. The rear ones, I'm gonna leave off just in case uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to take this off. Uh, I'm gonna have to take these out again, so I'm just gonna have them. I'm just gonna have it rest, rest right here, even though these fans are probably gonna turn on. And uh, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Okay, I got the front fans back in. I, like I said, I probably didn't need to take those out because as you guys saw, we just had to slide out through the back. So one thing that I just want to let you guys know is this one right here, I, I just simply pushed it in a bit more and I heard a little bit of a click. So I don't know if maybe this, in, during shipping, it got dislodged a little bit. So that could have been the initial culprit. I should have just checked the cable first before taking out the... Uh, the ASIC boards, but hey, I don't know if that, that could be it or not. So anyways, we got the power plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, let's see if, it, oh, okay, good. All right, looks like it's turning on. Let me just see. We'll just see here if anything's gonna show up. Okay, it just came up. And let's look at the bottom here. Oh, yes. Uh, CPB0 and then CPB1. Okay, so it looks like number one is hashing, but number zero is not. Uh, let me refresh here, let's hit a five. And yeah, it looks like that second board is still not going. You guys see that? It's not hashing, so I think there, there is something wrong. There's something definitely wrong. Let's see, there's no red light. We had a red blinking light before. And you can see here, there is a blue light and another blue light on this board. So this is the board that works, and that's the other one that, uh, that doesn't work. So what I want to try now, and I don't know if we could do that or not, is if I can switch this power to this one right here. And yeah, it's still not mining. It's not, it's not initializing. That sucks. Yeah, there you go. Failed to start up. Failed to start up. There you go. All right, we got a red light. We got a red indicator light on that ASIC board now. You guys see that? So something, something is definitely wrong. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't have a soldering machine or, you know, I don't know how these are manufactured, so I, there's no way for me to uh, figure out what's wrong with the board. I can't repair this type of thing. Maybe I can send it off to somebody that knows how. But uh, you know what, I'm just gonna wait and uh, let's see if Gold Shell or Crypto Miner Bros watches this video and uh, they could send me a new LT Lite board, ASIC board for this side and we'll see if, uh, if that'll work or not. If not, then I'm not hard pressed about it. You guys can let me know what you think. But actually, let me go ahead, let me swap the power and uh, just see if that makes a difference. Okay. I swap the power and I turn it back on and it still does not hash. So yeah, uh, that didn't, that didn't fix it. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to, yeah, fail. Yeah. See, fail to start up and I'm assuming there's going to be a red light coming up very soon on this thing. So there you guys go. I will keep you updated on this gold shell LT light. We'll see if crypto miner bros or uh, gold shell, uh, we'll see if we can get a replacement board and see if it fixes this guy as uh, this is a pretty uh, a pretty interesting ASIC miner. I have talked about before regarding the efficiency of the new ASICs that are coming out now. Obviously the Bitmain L7 is one of the most efficient ASIC miners right now for Litecoin, Merge Mining, Dogecoin. And then the next one is this Gold Shell LT Lite as the next, uh, the next best ASIC for, for that. So. Yeah, look at that. There's this red light flashing there. But yeah, this has failed to start up. All right, my friends, I'll keep you updated. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. And peace out. Um, I'm not even going to bother. You know what? I'm probably not even going to run this thing. Let's just keep this off for now.